Hello mate and welcome to another vlog. We're not traveling this time, instead we're staying in our home city, London, England. I can't tell you how good it feels to be strolling down the Fulham Road again, but we're back at Stamford Bridge today to see Chelsea Football Club. I haven't been back at the bridge since the pandemic hit the UK back in March 2020. Oh, and it feels good to be back. Sorry, what does that say? Damn right. Champions of Europe. We know what we are. A bit rusty here. Having trouble scanning my ticket. There we go. And we're back. And we're back. And that's literally what I just said, myself. Anyway, the club invited its members to get free tickets for this open training session, an invitation which I gladly accepted. Here I am again in the West End Lower, where I usually sit when Chelsea play at home. Cue the random applause for approaching players. The West End Lower also offers this iconic view of the Shed End. Rudy's got techers. Classic Jorginho. I have to say that Jorginho looks really good up close. What a player. Ballon d'Or candidate, anyone? New signing Romelu Lukaku having a chat with Oh, Thiago Silva. Lukaku looks so much bigger than everyone else. He looks like a professional wrestler. The other half of the squad is on the other side of the pitch, doing the same kind of rondo type drills. There were a few notable absences. Uh, Christian Pulisic was one, um, Hakim Ziyech due to the um, shoulder injury obviously, and N'Golo Kante. Ooh, crunching tackle there from Thiago Silva. I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking the same thing. I really want a pizza right now, and man, these guys are doing a lot of passing drills. They're just passing it all over the park. It's like watching Brazil. And there's the man of the moment, Trevor Chalaba. He's one of our own. <laughs> it ain't football without a bit of shit shithousery. <laughs> Lukaku with the Techers. Show off. Whoa, dangerous play. As for this guy, I'll let this new song do the talking. Ooh, Roman, do you know what that's worth? 
Kai Havertz is the best on earth The silky German is just what we need He won Chelsea, the Champions League He won Chelsea, the Champions League As you can see, there's a real emphasis on playing out from the back and keeping the team's shape. They also worked on patterns of play and movement, especially on the counter-attack. They even brought out the new trophies to the sound of madness. Yep, champions of Europe, baby. We know who we are. It's time for a word from our captain. Over to you, Dave. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we are very happy to have you back. Of course, uh, that night in Porto, uh, it's a night that uh, we will always remember. Uh, it was something special and uh, apart from uh, the trophy that obviously is, uh, is a trophy that you dream as a kid, uh, the way we did uh, the whole group, uh, the club, uh, we pushed together, the fans. Uh, it was amazing because uh, we didn't have an easy uh, way to the final. Uh, we were a bit the underdogs. And, uh, we fought uh, together to, to get the trophy, so obviously it felt very good, the whole group, the ones that we were lucky to play, the ones that didn't play, we all played our part and, and that was massive that uh, all together we did it and uh, it's, it was something special and I, I will always remember with a smile in my face. So that's it from me here at Stamford Bridge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to the Beige Voyage YouTube channel. If you do want more Chelsea content, please tell us in the comment section below. Until next time, ciao mate and keep the blue flag flying high. Yeah.